They claim the soul Bible has outlived its day That there are some changes that need to be made Let no man deceive Take your Bibles or turn with me to Matthew 24 Truth is determined by the test of time Trust the old Bible with its these and that's Never mind those people who won't throw it out Churches are drifting and falling away We need the soul book more than ever Empty Cross Ministries Daily Devotional Time. I'm Brother David. The name of the program is King James Version Exposed. Because we use the King James Version, we look at the verses, bring them to life, and expose the meaning. Today we're going to be looking at the last chapter in the Gospel of John, chapter 21. So as I get it pulled up here, we'll get to it. Jesus is omniscient. That means all-knowing. Jesus is omniscient. Many times before he was slain, he proved that he knew all after his resurrection. There are also many examples of his knowing all things. Chapter 21 highlights several of them including when Jesus walked on this earth for 40 days after his resurrection, he knew where to find his disciples. We see that in verse 1. That disciples, that Jesus' disciples spent all night fishing and did not catch anything. Jesus visited them and instantly knew where the fish were and told them, we see that in verse 6, that the fishermen still had to eat and what their needs were. We see that in verse 9, that Jesus knew of Peter's weakness and encouraged him 
to continue to minister to the many believers. We see that in verses 15, 16, and 17. What Peter's future was and what would happen to him in his last days. We see that verse 18. There is nothing Jesus does not know about anyone. He knows our heartaches, sorrows, needs, fears, strengths, weaknesses, if we are saved, and things we may not even know about ourselves. With all Jesus knows about us, he still loves us. What a wonderful Savior he is. I need to ask a question here. Jesus knows all about you. Do you know him as your personal Lord, Savior, Redeemer, and King? Do you know him in that way? Just something for you to think about. Our thought for today is the best friend is one who knows all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Once again, our thought for today is a best friend is one who knows all about you, yet still loves you just like Jesus. There's a few words we need to understand exactly what they mean before we get to our scripture. A cubit is a measurement and it's usually about 18 inches, about a foot and a half. A girt, that word means put on clothing. And that word omniscient means all-knowing or wise. And that brings us up to our scripture, the Gospel of John chapter 21. And after I get a drink here, I'm going to read the entire chapter. <clears throat> the Gospel of John, chapter 21, <clears throat> beginning in verse 1. After these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias, and on this wise showed he himself. There were together Simon Peter and Thomas called Didymus and Nathanael of Cana in Galilee and the sons of Zebedee and two other of his disciples. Simon Peter saith unto them, I go a fishing. They say unto him, We also go with thee. They went forth and entered into a ship immediately, and that night they caught nothing. But when the morning was now come, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples knew not that it was Jesus. Then Jesus saith unto them, Children, have ye any meat? They answered him, No. And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. They cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw for the multitude of fishes. Therefore that disciple whom Jesus loved saith unto Peter, It is Lord, it is the Lord. Now when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, <clears throat> he girt his fisher's coat, <clears throat> excuse me, he girt his fisher's coat unto him, for he was naked, and did cast himself into the sea. And the other disciples came in a little ship, for they were not far from the land, but as it were two hundred cubits, dragging the net with fishes. As soon as, the, <clears throat> excuse me, as soon as, the, <clears throat> as soon as, the, as soon then, as they were come to land, they saw a fire of coals there, and fish laid thereon in bread. Jesus saith unto them, Bring of the fish which you have now caught. Simon Peter went up and drew the net to land full of great fishes, a hundred and fifty and three, and for all there were so many. Yet was not the net broken. Jesus saith unto them, Come and dine. And none of the disciples durst ask him, Who art thou? Knowing that it was the Lord. Jesus then cometh, and taketh bread, and giveth them, and fish likewise. This is now the third time that Jesus showed himself to his disciples after that he was risen from the dead. So when they had died, <clears throat> Jesus saith to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? 
He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. He saith to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved, because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus saith unto him, Feed my sheep. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, When thou wast young, thou goodest thyself, and walkest whither thou wouldest. But when thou shalt be old, thou shalt stretch forth thy hands, and another shall gird thee and carry thee whither thou wouldest not. This spake he signify by what death he should glorify God. And when he had spoken this, he saith unto him, Follow me. Then Peter, turning about, seeth the disciple, whom Jesus loved following, which also leaned on his breast at, at supper, and said, Lord, which is he that betrayeth thee? Peter, seeing him, saith to Jesus, Lord, and what shall this man do? Jesus saith unto him, If I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? Follow thou me. Then he then went the saying abroad among the brethren, that the disciples should not die. Yet Jesus said not unto him, He shall not die, but if I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? This is the disciple which testifieth of these things, and wrote these things, and we know that his testimony is true. And there are also many other things which Jesus did by the... Let me start over with that verse. Verse 25. And there also, and there are also many other things which Jesus did, the which, if they should be written, everyone, I suppose, that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. Amen. This has been Empty Cross Ministries Daily Devotional Time. I'm uh, Brother David. The name of the program is King James Version Exposed. We're going to close out here with a prayer and a song. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you seeking your face, seeking your grace, seeking your pardon for the times that we fall short of your glory. For we know that all have sinned and fallen short of your glory, Lord. We thank you for the grace that you offer us through the cross, through your Son, Jesus, Lord. Father, you and Jesus are one. Jesus is the Son. You are the Father. Yet Jesus was fully human and fully God at the same time, Lord. He knows us. He knows our spirits. He knows our weaknesses. He knows our likes, our dislikes. He knows what makes us happy and what makes us sad. He knows <clears throat> what state we are in, emotionally, physically, and spiritually, Lord. <clears throat> Father, for those that are suffering from any kind of illness, whether it be spiritual, physical, emotional, or mental, we ask that you put your healing touch upon them. Father, be with those that are facing the loss of a loved one. Just make your presence known to them in ways that only you can do. Father, thank you for the warmth of the sunshine, the coolness of the breeze, the changing of the seasons. Father, thank you for your creation. It speaks of your power and of your glory. Father, thank you most of all for sending Jesus to die on the cross to pay the penalty for our sins and shortcomings that they might be hid from your face. It, does, it said his name. We pray these things. Amen. Uh, folks, stay safe. Be blessed. Stay in the Word and write the Word upon your heart. 
Until next time.